before I start the video, you guys already know the deal. Like the video. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the post notification if you guys are new, if you haven't already. And for those of you who don't know, I do post comments. Since my last video was on Friday, I did throw in a little bit of extra comments this time. Usually I put like about anywhere from 5 to 10. I put like 12 or 13 comments in this one. So hopefully if you guys really wanted to be selected you guys got selected if not just try again um you guys have a better chance if you come in like pretty fast and you know say something that is uh, pretty funny so just to let you guys know uh these comments are stretched from friday all the way to before i uploaded this video so uh yeah if you guys aren't selected don't be mad just try again but now let's just go into the video to me the number one problem on park is that there's no longevity in it I mean, besides the people who want to get legend, what really makes you want to play Park all the time? I mean, at first the stage was cool, being able to put up VC versus other people and getting the chance to get big amounts of VC, obviously a lot of people want to do that. Park After Dark seemed like a pretty cool concept, but it never really caught on, there was too much lag and it only happened like three times in the year. So I feel like this will be the perfect way for 2K to add longevity to the park. I mean, some of these things were already in Park After Dark, so once again, it's just a copy and paste. But it should definitely be available either every day or at least every Friday. Something along those lines, it should be something that's allowed to be in the park. Imagine this, you join the park, you go into those little doors that each park has, depending on your park, wherever it would be, and then you see something that says Park Mini Games. You go into that park, and now you're able to do three-point contests, dunk contests, horse, knockout, around the world. I just feel like that would be perfect for the park. Now, obviously, some people are better three-point shooters than others. Some people are better dunkers than others. Those contests, just like the NBA, will depend on your archetype. But horse, knockout, and around the world, all of those things can be fun for everybody, no matter what archetype. Now, I haven't convinced some of you yet, but there's more to this. I feel like this could turn into something way bigger. Like obviously on the stage there's different tiers to everything. So I feel like there should be the same thing on here. Different tiers to everything. Now a lot of people say that they're the best three point shooters, the best dunkers, the best uh, dribble gods, the best this, the best that on 2k. Now obviously the game is still a lot about luck. But this could narrow some of that down. Imagine your favorite YouTubers doing the three point contest together. That would be pretty cool to see. Dunk contest, horse, stuff like that. Now with that, I definitely say this. Now I don't know if 2K would do something like this, but I feel like they should have 1v1s. Now obviously you can do 1v1 on my court, but everybody knows that that's not the same feel as part. I feel like they should have the 1v1 on there, but you're allowed to put how much you wanna wager. So if I wanted to wager 100K on a 1v1, I should be allowed to do that. Now obviously, that, you know, a lot of people right now are like, you know, that's a good idea. But obviously there's people that are gonna abuse it. They just wanna give 100K to their friend. So they start the game and then just, you know, quit the game, whatever, lose on purpose. But at the same time, I mean, can we really let the people who are gonna exploit the game ruin everything for everyone else? I feel like that's counterproductive because if they wanted to do that, they could just do it on stage too. I see no reason to do any of that, to be honest with you. With something like this, the ideas are kind of endless to what you can do with it. You can do the 1v1s, you can do all these mini games, and at the same time, you can do tournaments. If I bring in three of my friends and we're one team and then somebody else brings three of their friends and all together there's 20 teams, three people on each team. Each person puts in 250 VC, therefore each team is putting in 750 VC. All of that VC should go into a pot and the pot should then be for the winner of the whole entire tournament. Small things like that I feel like would make the game a lot more fun. Just so much more longevity in the game. I would definitely play Park every day. Now there was a stretch where I was doing that when the game was kind of like fresh and new. But I feel like Park gets old very very fast. It's only so much that you know you're going to sit there and play just... 15 or 21 over and over and over again. It's the same thing. How you in the mind? Cause I'm a young nigga. Say you need a job, come my way, young nigga. And if I put him out, better spray it on niggas. I'm a better better fluid. Talk money and I speak a fluid. Pay the couple middle with boom. I think I put all this up. Hallelujah. Amen. 